Today, we're going to be talking about popcorn ceilings. I'm going to show you guys the method that I use to get popcorn ceilings scraped in just a matter of minutes. I'm currently renovating this entire laundry room from top to bottom. You won't believe how it looks in the end, so make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you get an alert whenever I post that video here shortly. And let's go ahead and get started. If your home was built any time from the 1980s or before, you want to make sure you don't have any asbestos in the texture on your ceilings. I'll leave a link below so you guys can get more information on that before you start this project. For this project, you're going to want a water sprayer and a floor scraper. I ordered this one gallon lawn sprayer and this 18 inch floor scraper off of Amazon. You'll also want a putty knife to get the smaller areas and some type of eye protection and a face mask. First you want to fill up your lawn sprayer with hot water. Then you want to build up a really good pressure in that sprayer before getting started. Begin spraying the hot water onto the textured ceiling in a back and forth sweeping motion. The goal is to get the entire ceiling really well saturated. After you've covered the entire surface, take your sprayer back around the outside edges of the ceiling. Let that soak in for a couple of minutes and then go back and spray the entire ceiling one more time. I've found that using hot water seems to penetrate the textured ceiling better than cold water and giving it time to soak in first and then spraying it again loosens it up really well. Once you have that second layer of water sprayed on, don't let it sit. Grab your scraper and start scraping right away. The popcorn ceiling should just fall off at this point. If you have any resistance or any trouble with it, then stop, spray that area one more time and immediately start scraping again. Once I've gotten everything that I can with the floor scraper, I take my putty knife and get the areas around the light fixture and the edges of the ceiling. It comes off really easily. And then as you're up there, you can also double check for any little spots that might have not been caught by the floor scraper that you can just easily scrape off by hand before you're done. So this is what your ceiling should look like when you're about done. Once you're done completely scraping all the little pieces that you may have missed with the floor scraper, then give your drywall plenty of time to dry before you go back and patch anything or prime and paint the ceiling. And just to show you guys really quick, this is why I said to cover everything in plastic. This stuff makes such a massive mess. So after the drywall had time to completely dry overnight, I came back in here with my drywall putty and I patched over the areas that I might have gouged while I was scraping the ceiling. And also you can go back and try to kind of patch over and smooth out some of those imperfections that the builder was initially covering up with that popcorn ceiling. After your drywall putty dries, you wanna go back and sand it down as smooth as you can get it. When I did this room, I hadn't bought my orbital sander yet, so I had to go back and hand sand everything. So the ceiling's not as smooth as it could be, but at least I know moving forward, I'll be able to get a smoother surface. So once you've patched and sanded your ceiling, you can go back in with a couple coats of primer and then a couple coats of whatever ceiling paint you decide to go with. 
And that's it. This project is totally worth doing. It's really messy, but in the end, it is so worth getting that popcorn ceiling removed. I will be tackling the flooring in this room next. So stick around if you guys want to check out that video. You can subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you get notified as soon as I release those videos. Also, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, I'd love it if you'd give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you next time.